Um, hey, Caleb and uh, possibly Josh, if you guys are in the office, I uh, hope you guys are crushing it. Uh, I looked at Amazon results uh, a few months back and it looked like you were. So congrats. I'm super excited for you guys uh, and everything that you're doing. I had this crazy idea uh, that should add a good chunk of revenue, both from an organic perspective as well as um, <clears throat> from a um, the <laughs> decreasing the ad costs uh, for Google Ads. Um, so the I'm going to send you this big file. It has all of the keywords you guys are close to ranking for currently, which are existing products. You can see Coco Coir, um ranks for. Um, the 10 pound brick and the 650 pound brick. So as an example there, um, you have the 13th and the 14th ranking, but if you focused some backlinks um, on to this page, um, and backlinks would just be other websites directing people to this, um, so that can be a combination of uh, a company that you pay that gets you put out on the web, um, influencers who post uh, basically a, a link back to the product page. Um, there is 22,200 monthly searches right now, um, last 30 days for that traffic. Now you can obviously look at Google search trends and say, you know, this is, um, going to go down during the summer here's here's kind of what we're going to receive over the next year from this investment um, and I use a company called iMark um, to get the backlinks and specifically ask them how difficult it's going to be to take the current ranking and get there um, but you want to basically make sure that on this page um, <clears throat> this page for the 10 pound brick also um, you want to block one of these so that you're not competing against yourself um, or see if iMark has a, a good strategy for getting both ranked for like the first and second position um, because uh, I know your average order value is lower I think it's somewhere between you know uh, I'm gonna go in the low end and say $50 um, so the revenue impact for ranking that keyword is $6,354 per month. Um, and then obviously um, that'll fluctuate month to month, but um, spending specific time trying to rank for that keyword um, and investing, <clears throat> you know, one to 2,000 in backlinks um, to get ranked for that keyword will basically yield uh, an ongoing you know, result where annually you might invest a little bit, but the returns on that are going to be far greater than anything you, you can even receive on ads. And now additionally, when you're trying to compete with that keyword, because your placement um, increases, so as an example, you're going to show up here you would also show up here, and then you would show up, um, you know, there'll be some sponsored ads throughout um, the Google page, uh, kind of like this. Um, and so you would show up, you know, in numerous places in the first spot. Um, <clears throat> now there's strategies past the backlinking um, and adding some content to this page. Um, the other thing I noticed was, so you have your safety data sheets, great. You have shipping information. Um, the description is perfect. Um, I would make sure that the description is showing up for your, <coughs> um, for Google search bots. So when you plug this into Google Search Console, um, you'll be able to see how, or Google Webmaster Tools um, is another name for it. Um, you'll be able to see how the page is is doing from a what what bots are reading um, make sure that the bots can read this because it's a lot of great content um, and you might find that you just need like an extra 500 words here um, in addition to 
um, the backlinks, right, for <clears throat> getting in a top position spot. Um, love what you've done with these. Um, make sure when you're looking at this um, that these, I think you guys must have put in the alt tag since we last talked. Um, just make sure the alt tags show up so that these images um, say Coco Coir, Coco Bliss, um, you know, keywords that you are trying to rank for. Um, but a lot of great examples here as far as what you guys could potentially be ranking for and a lot of positioning that is very strong um, for ranking for that, right? Um, so you're like Coco Bliss, um, I mean, we, we can do a Google search right now, but um, that's definitely a keyword you shouldn't be ranking 30th for. Um, you, should be, you, should, you should be ranking um, really well um, because that's the brand name. Um, obviously, there's a musician, so I wouldn't spend a whole lot of time there because it's probably ranking for something that you're, you're not um, trying to rank it for from a long-term perspective, but coconut coir, right, um, would be another one of those um, where you are trying to rank for coconut coir. Um, and um, you can see it's a completely different page. So I see that you have the products that people can buy. Um, there's not a lot of content on this page. Um, and again, we'll change the AOV if it's $99, great. But you could see where all of a sudden um, from, from just looking through this and saying, where am I currently ranking? How much money does it cost to get me in the top spot? And then how much does this then decrease my cost per click um, on Google, uh, Google search? Um, you'll be able to correlate basically the, the increase in sales here, and then you'll also be able to add to this the decrease in costs um, from Google for those specific keywords, um, which will add to this revenue impact number. So just, just a thought, just some different ways for you to look at that and, um, and explore that. And so you have 635 keywords that you're ranking very well for. Um, and that are, you know, like some of them are very easy for you to rank um, in the top, you know, top position for it. And the traffic is viable. Um, and then just making sure whatever your upsells are from there um, are in place to try and increase the AOV, um, which increases your revenue impact. So hope this was helpful. I'm happy to, you know, set a meeting with you guys. Uh, I, I love what you guys have been doing and uh, really appreciate all of your hard work because uh, you guys are crushing it and should be really proud of what you've been doing. So thanks. Talk to you soon.